17. Yes. Come on, yeah, come on Sam. Come on, he's, all right. he's all jacked up on Coca Cola. How many Coca Colas do yeah. you have today? Oh, about you. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, it's a chilly one. Good morning, Elko. <laughs> You guys want to know why I really love Cracker Barrel? Because their aviation toy guy is the best. Got an A10 Warthog. Got my Apache in here as always. So we're dialed. Got this one last year. Building the collection. All right, so we just hit up Andretti Karting. It's obviously raining pretty hard now. We're gonna start making our drive. We gotta go stop at the Orlando track. And then we start up the checkpoints. But Andretti Karting, try that out. Pretty awesome. Well boys, the Elko does pretty damn good in rain. Uh, not having the hood kind of sucks because the tires whip up water on the window, but we're doing just fine. We're going to make it. We're almost to the track, a couple miles. All right, guys, looks like we made it to Orlando Speed World, which obviously they made the right call. We won't be racing. So everything's doing good in the water. We're making it through. We're going to rain out some windows real quick, though, because we do have some fog going on. Other than that, we're doing pretty good. How's she running? Pretty good. A little smoky out there. I don't know, I can't tell. We can't tell, would you? Yeah, I'm gonna get my rain axe out. I have some in. Alright, so we're trying to figure out what's going on with Ruby. Ran it on the jack stand. Can't find anything vibrating, but these guys are saying it's pretty gnarly. Speed it up. Checkpoint. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's cold out here. It, it was the track. It is freezing. You see my breath. Yeah, pretty good. Night. So we made it to the first checkpoint. How's Ruby? Uh, Doing all right. Yeah, the vibration got a little less. So once it dries up, we could probably go a little faster. Yeah. All right, cool. So wait, big dog. How's the Marauder? Good. All good. I mean, I'd expect it to. It's bone stock. Bone stock piece, it does. Yeah, I mean, being that it's bone stock, you can't imagine it having any issues. The air conditioning is working. What about the cruise control? Have you used that? Not yet, but it still works. It still works. You want to go surfing, Dave? No, no, don't do that. Let's go. about 20 
25 miles from the last checkpoint of the day. Rolling, the sun's going down. Look at that view. Beautiful. Turn skis, jumps are good. Chilling, we'll be there soon. All right, last checkpoint. We've officially made it. We got Ruby. We got the Elko. Marauders back there, but we made it to the last checkpoint, so now we have about 50 miles to Gainesville. And everything's going pretty good. Big underglow, guys. Just yeah, see anything? Yeah, no, we pretty much rice our way all the way. Good. Got a wrench on our sock to put it on a few things, but I don't like seeing something that's like, there's the problem. Okay. So, guys, obviously, we're here at Kevin's shop, and Kevin's having a little party. But since we're allowed to use Kevin's shop for some light and stuff, we're going to go ahead and lash the valves since we have a solid roller set up now. And then I'm going to go ahead and take care of these steam ports because we don't have a steam port kit on it right now. So we got some parts in from Frankenstein to do that. We're gonna fix that up. Nate's gonna handle the valve lash. What are we doing, like 15? 16, 16, 16 hot. 16 thou hot? Okay. 15 or 16, I gotta look at my phone. I have a note. All right, you handle that, I'll handle this. We'll be dialed. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I saw it. Well, probably a good thing we're checking this. Yep. yep. Well, Jack Stan, we just gave her a good once over. Checked every nut and bolt. Just, just polishing her undersides for the car show, that's all. Just cleaning it, yeah, because we checked everything, because we had a little bit of a vibration, but some down to, we think that it's probably just this tire right here. It's a little wore out. All right, boys, so we whipped up a new steam port kit out of AN line. I have not made AN line since I hired James, so that's kind of funny. So, knock those out. And we're gonna start it up. Got the valves lashed. They weren't far off. Yeah, no, I, I think I adjusted four of them total, and they were just yeah. a little snug, one a little loose. Not bad. So we're gonna fire it up. So our turbo's smoking a little bit. So we got our fitting out. A little, little bit of Earl. A little Earl through Dang the seals. Dude, that's the cleanest I remember. <laughs> that face right there, dude. That's how I got mad, dude. I, I walked away. <laughs> I walked away. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna snug a dug our fitting right back in there. We got a little goopity goop on there. Yeah, y'all smacks pretty good. Don't scrip her out. Oh yeah, turn yeah, it down nice and smooth support. on the lady. Look at That's this beautiful. All right, well, we got a little oil restriction in there now. Hopefully that'll slow down the smoke that she's giving us. All right, nice 40 degree cold start for the Elko. Pulling up to the track, we are in the quarantine lot, as they're calling it, the quarantine lot, because we're in the top three. So if you're in the top three of any of the classes, you gotta pull over into this restricted area where they watch you like a hawk. And since we are in third, we're over in quarantine. So we're gonna get set up here and go racing. Hit it. Wait. Ask any racer, any real racer. Test First thing you do step. at the track, test your two-step. Come on. <laughs> Very 
concerned, brother. Says our uh, says our race fuel pressure is 240 psi. Oh, it's a little high. Wonder if our uh, regulator seized up. Wonderful. He's stuck. Ah, it's a great day to be alive. That's right. Drew. <laughs> I think so too. Like, she was spitting fireballs. If it was at 240 psi, do you think it'd even run? Like, the injectors would be making. Uh, I mean, these injectors would open it up and be real rich. So that that transition good. wouldn't have looked like that. So, all right, well, guys, we have worked around this fuel pressure situation. The dash says we're making 240 psi fuel pressure, but Nate and I don't think that's true. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. So we. Uh, for a second thought maybe the regulator was seized up but we think the sensor is just bad because we cracked the line off it's returning fuel we put it on the two-step it's not like overly rich, right? overly rich. if it was making 240 well, pounds of fuel, line, pressure, fuel pressure good drop. if it was 240 pounds of fuel pressure it'd be yeah pissed, it'd be so. pissed so we think we're good so we're gonna head up for the first round here once this fog clears and right, let it rip got that the two-step same number 1094 was it 1094 with a six so if you can run close to that because at the end of the week your average needs to be as close to a 1094 as possible so okay. if you go a little faster a little slower today well, it doesn't matter us, but us the air really good today so yeah we're but by the end of the week you gotta get your average right yeah. over there so all right have fun I missed it, but I heard it was yeah, a real spicy good, so one. I'm hoping this is a spicy one too. <laughs> And then, yeah, we'll, uh, figure, we'll figure it out. No big deal. Can you be a little bit more responsible? What do you mean? Put your hand out. Open your hand. Can you be a little bit more responsible? Where was that? Oh my gosh, dude. The lucky pebble, really? Where was that? I don't, I don't want to tell you. Dude, come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. How? We have been quarantined on the watch list. All right guys, we're finally up. So Sam had a big backfire. The data log didn't work for that, unfortunately. So we don't know what happened, but we're gonna adjust some things anyway and try and get it to go down. We're pulling up in the Elko now. Ruby's behind me, a couple cars, but we're gonna try and get down here. Probably see what this does. This is a pretty casual leave, and then it rolls in the power pretty hard. And uh, just hoping it makes a clean run, and then we will, after that, 
assess our next move because we still have to drive to Georgia today. Misfiring when I let off. Oh boy! One and done. Why was I saying that? That'd be silly. These don't sound bad. <laughs> Sounds bad. <laughs> tune-up is basically what we went on last time but started making cool pressure our last pass yesterday or the last time we were racing and yeah but it wasn't I mean it wasn't anything really yeah. well so we thought it was nothing really to worry about a couple more rounds and we're up in old Ruby and my boy JT Jackson Jimmy in here that's what we do buddy let's rip it come on Spiced up. Hopefully not too spiced up now. However, that could be because the valve too up to end. Some of them were too tight last night. I saw old Lush. Yeah. And it could be too late. I think it's too up. Yeah. So if a valve too up, can you still run it? Or what's the what's the status on that? I mean, I probably wouldn't, but we're on sick We should make sure that that is the problem and it wasn't just tight. Still made a lot of cooling pressure. It did. That had nothing to do with cooling pressure, but. Yeah. Problem is, we don't know what valves are in here. I'm gonna make some calls. At least we got our compression back. All right, I just talked to uh, Joe from Fast Forward. He said 
lash them babies at 20 thou and send it. 20 thou? Yeah. We just need to, we need to lash them at 20 thou, not kill it, get it down to a 7.30 or something. All right, we are header off. We just gotta pull these stanchions to get to all of our head bolts. I'm gonna pull that header real quick, but we're looking good, guys. We're gonna make this happen for you. I don't wanna let you guys down, so I'm really hoping this works out. folks the heads are retorked old dr bend rods putting it back together dr tune them all all right so once he gets those back actually i can start putting these headers back on now so nice having the o-ring headers from frankenstein so we're going back together boys hopefully this works all right guys this side's completely done Nate's working over here to finish this up. They're in all run, so they're running the last of the cars. All right, so we're trying to wrap it up. Uh oh. You want another shot at this racetrack? You need to get into the safety lanes at this time, please. We gotta get in the lanes, brother. All right, we got Ruby out here. We're gonna give her another shot. John Forrest burnout over here. to get back up there to make my last pass. I just need right now. All right, let her rip. Come on, baby. All right, stop. All right, what we got going on here, man? Left on five pounds like it should. Well, left on five pounds, it should have been on three. But you see right here where it says boost scramble plus? For some reason, the boost scramble is turned on. Don't know why or how. We don't even have that. And it, uh, boost scramble demanded it to make, a, you know, 20 pounds. So it made 17. Spike 20 made 17 pounds. Elko going to somewhere else. I don't know what's going on here. Yes. Thank you. Six second wagon. Sounds good. Holy shit. All right, we got three minutes to be in the lane. I'll pull up and just we'll, we'll gather our stuff once I park in the lane. Alright. Hey, we get one pass. One pass, dude. Hey, that'd be amazing. If it even went that fast, that'd be exciting. Yeah. I know. It 
it might be like 100% or it's going to be no bueno. What did you just run? Uh, 502 to the 8th and a 778, like completely out of the gas. What are you doing? Just hold the data log. There was a boost scramble in there that was adding 50 to the dome. And for some reason it turned itself on on that path. There didn't have a scramble button, but somehow it was on. The car's running, so we're going to go send it. Yeah, you're running. Yeah, we'll see you out there. Somewhere. You better go run like an 850 something there. Well, yeah, I just, I, it was enabled, so I just disabled it. It made up okay. zero, so in case it does try to turn on. Maybe there's lift, so you at least get an 86 or something. Yeah, I'm going to go. It should go 550 or 850. All right, cool. All right, guys, well, all we can do now is hope we get her down. We uh, kind of turned it down to where it was on day one. We're not really shooting for the moon on this pass, but we want to run decent so we can keep our average and stay in uh, third position. But we'll just see if it holds, man. Hey, valve might be a little compromised, but guess what? Still gonna send it. Our butts kicked today. Yes, we did. What did you guys turn in? 778. No, just kidding. Uh, I did do that today. I went 778 by accident. Today. What'd you turn in? We turned in an 867. 17 Ooh. slow. Tough. What'd you guys turn in, Parker? 863. Ooh. I know. The What'd you guys turn in? Uh, 1175. 1175. <laughs> oh, turn in? Man, we turned in a 950. Oh. Uh, Go team. <laughs> hey, team, team slow cars. Team slow. One, two, three. Slow. 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 Hey, should have borrowed my 778 slip, dude. Yeah, yeah I know. We should have traded slips. Yeah, we definitely stretched some valves. So we're going to relash the valves when we get to the track. It sounds pretty loose right now, yeah, but. It's, it's set up. It's 20 a hot ish. It's 20 medium, which should be like 20 hot. But it's so. cold. We're so. just going to drive it and hopefully make it. And then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, come on, Sam. Sam. <laughs> all right. He's all jacked up on Coca Cola. How many Coca Colas you yeah. had today? Oh, a bunch. Our cooler is low, so we got to stop restocking. All right, all right. Well, yeah. Let's get some gas and get on the road. We got 130 miles to get to uh, South Georgia. Got 933 miles to go. We'll get there when we get there. See you boys in the morning. Stop for some barbecue. Car's looking good. Might be losing a the wheel there. Lined up. Ready to drive for three hours? Yep. All right. First fuel up. Dang, that rubber on there. Huh? 
drag car. I know, he does nice burnout. Alright, first checkpoint reached. I have no idea what it is, but it told us to take a picture here, so here we are. Hell yeah, final <laughs> checkpoint. <laughs> final checkpoint pulling into Georgia. So we're like 30 minutes from the track. Our hotel is just up the road. Doing pretty good. Oh wow, the Tesla made it. Hey, buenos noches. Hey, buenos noches. You good? Yeah, I'm good. How's it driving? That's a rough ride, man. Rough ride? Oh, wow. With the leather seats too yeah, soft. Well, I yeah, with all the heat and leather seats. Seven or seven or six. Oh, like the heat was too nice. Nine. Wow. <laughs> you poor guys. <laughs> you poor guys. Hey, 18-wheeler just hit a fellow race week. comes ripping into our lane. I don't think he hit it. I don't think we got hit that. I think that loud noise was, was that dude's tire, yeah. Jeez. Alright guys, we made it to South Georgia. Racing in the morning. Gotta go do some editing. That's it for now. Thanks for watching New Dale. We will freaking see you later.